Hello and welcome to windowsreport.com, I'm Henrik Fai. The reason that might cause the DNS system error are various, but we will try to address the most common ones by explaining the methods that are in this video. By following the guidelines from this tutorial, you'll be able to learn how to resolve the Windows Your DNS Server Might Be Unavailable error message with ease, so don't hesitate to check the same. So how do you fix your DNS Server Might Be Unavailable error? The first solution could be a very quick and easy fix. If you have a router that you use for your network connection, there's a quick tip that you can just reconnect or restart your router. So unplug the cable and plug it in again, or just reset or use the reset button on the back. The second method is to uninstall any security program. So if you have any installed, you can remove those and see if that fixes the error. Often this happens to people if they have antivirus installed. This can happen due to incompatibility problems and other conflicts between your antivirus and or anti-malware software. Therefore, just uninstall the additional security platforms and keep just one antivirus program on your device. Third solution is to flush the DNS. In this way, you will make a new request for a new IP address from your ISP server, and this might just resolve your network issue. Just follow these simple steps. All you have to do is go on the bottom left and type in CMD. Right click on it and run it as this administrator and press yes. Now, once you're in here, all you have to do is type in IP config forward slash flush DNS and hit enter. Now you've successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Then type in IP config forward slash release. Hit enter. Now type in IP config forward slash renew and hit enter and then press exit. If the issue still persists, try to reset your TCP or IP using the netch command. All that you have to do again is type in CMD, right click on it, run it as an administrator and press yes. Then once you're in here, all you have to do is type in netch int IP reset and then hit enter. Once that is done, you can close it and hopefully this fixed your issue. And make sure to subscribe and read the full article with more solutions that is going to be down in the description. Thank you very much for watching.